Okay. Okay. Damn. <laughs> okay. Does my shit turn it up? Turn it up. Turn it up. Yeah. Okay. If you're in the whip, put the windows down. Okay. If you're at work, what? smack your coworker. If you're with the kids, kick them in the ass. What? What? Going to jail. <laughs> Shout out to all the wifeies out there that made their man a good breakfast this morning. It's gonna turn into breakfast from breakfast music to go to jail music. <laughs> Shout out to all the brothers out there that made their wifey a good breakfast this morning. Okay. Welcome world, welcome world. Yeah. Episode one seventeen of the Great American Hip Hop Debate Podcast. We are back. Uh huh. As usual, yeah. I am the brother Burns. To the left of me, I got the brother BS. BS to the OP. You know what it be, man. We we repping that LBE, rocking that MDMA all. Take. Your wifey made you breakfast this morning? Hell yeah, nigga. Right. Every Saturday, bro. Every Saturday and Sunday, man. Lay down the Lord. She did it. On the pimp, see? On Every the check-in down in uh down in the, the trenches dirty, of dirty. Tampa. Down in the dirty. Big bloodshot. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the swamp, baby. Your wifey made you I breakfast had- this morning? Hell no. Nah. Yeah, we had pancakes and gator bites this morning, man. <laughs> hey, what? you went really southern. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shit crunchy. Hot <laughs> sauce on that shit. Hey, Yo, shout out to that, though. I'll fuego. take some fucking gator bites. Gator bites. bites. Shout out to the brother F and Straight Fuego Studios, as always. Get it right for that crystal clear <laughs> earlobe penetration. Hey, yes, yep, sir. Hey, yes, yep. sir. Um... We're going to hit some current events, but we are here today to discuss the top five down south MCs per everyone's opinion. So we each got our own list. Some of them right. made a clash or repeat. We don't know. We haven't discussed them. We'll get into that. But first, mm. let's get into the public health emergency known as the monkeypox. Damn. That shit, oh, shit. That shit look nasty, yo. You seen that shit on people? The government declared it a public health emergency. Yeah, that's yeah. just fucked up, bro. That shit looks fucked up. The good thing, I mean, the one thing that I did read about it is it's non-life-threatening. Like, it's not like COVID, right. where you, if you had COVID, like in the early stages when, when, when COVID was first out and you got it, there's a good chance you might die from that shit. The public would yeah. rather die that than look be ugly. Yeah, exactly. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> You know, no, that's, no that, that, that's what, you, know, that, you know what? I thought about that with the government. I'm like, yo, the government couldn't keep people inside with COVID because it doesn't show on your face. You understand what I'm saying? The government yeah. now is like, oh, y'all ain't going, y'all, y'all ain't going to stay inside. I mean, yeah, inside. Here you go, boom. We're gonna y'all, make you ugly. Uh, y'all getting yeah. the monkey pox vax? Shit. After knowing what we know about COVID. You know what's funny? Or don't know? My daughter, right? She seen a picture. She was here last week, and we were chilling and shit. And she seen a picture of somebody, of a girl with monkey pox, and she had it on, like, all around her mouth and shit on her face. And she was like, I'm getting the vaccination tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> see? Oh, that's what be the, dead that, than ugly. You see? That's fucked up how they get you to do shit. Yeah, bro. Shout out to the government, man. They always got a plan A, plan B. Shout out to the government for winning the lottery. 800 million to the Facts. government. Shout Facts. out to that. Send me my fucking stimulus, bitches. The, the guy that won the lotto. God bless him, you know. Uh, 412 million or so. Mm. But, uh, but, uh, if I tell you I'm gonna give you a billion dollars mm. and then I give you 400 million, I, you got 400 million. But, nigga, you told me you was gonna give me a billion dollars. Like, what's up? 
I, I'm sorry, <laughs> but if you don't know by now how this country works, and you're excited about get, you're excited about the government telling you they're gonna give you a billion dollars. Nah, fam, come on. Yo, you should know better that. by now. I'll get excited if anybody tells me they're gonna give me a billion. You should know by now, man. The government don't play fair. Shout out to the government winning eight hundred million and not sharing it. Shout out to the government for also distributing. Uh, let me not say distributing. <laughs> Shout out to the government for uh, declaring public health emergency monkeypox. I'll quarantine for five weeks with four hundred million. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll quarantine for a lifetime for 400 million. I'll, qu I'll quarantine for yeah, 400 weeks with 5 million. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> this guy will quarantine for fucking a, month, a, a year for with fucking $5,000. Straight up. <laughs> Love drug and hookers. Nah, nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> that shit gonna go like that. In other news, this is this is the bad news portion of the uh, oh, podcast. Shit. Before oh. we get to the awesome down south MCs. Oh, shit. In other news. The um, about two weeks ago, it was reported by NASA that the Earth had its shortest day in history mm. and had spun approximately 0.15 milliseconds under 24 hours. Right. So the Earth spanned faster than it's ever spended before. Spended, yeah. What? That's, that's a word. And right. I felt it. <laughs> I felt it. I got dizzy. I felt it. You got dizzy, right? Yeah. And I didn't sleep right. Y'all know how fast we're moving right now? 80,000 miles an hour. And Wrong. if the earth were to stop, we'd all be fucked. No, it's not 80,000. It's 80,000, bro. 68,000. Anyway, boy, I don't give a fuck. I always want to debate fucking. I forgot Michael um, DeGrasse fucking right. Tyson over that's, here. No, well, who's the other guy? Uh, <laughs> the other scientist. <laughs> Bill Nye, B. Bill Nye. Bill Nye, the science <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> um. Yeah, bro. So the earth is spinning faster. That's not good news. It's going to fuck with technology. All technology is like. Uh, oh. Synchronized to some clock there, mm -hmm. and if the Earth spins faster. However, let me tell y'all this: uh, a realization that I just had, Let's and see. and fuck this. Time is man-made. Time doesn't exist. Time, time is, is a not a real thing, bro. Time is a man-made construct. That's why I'm never really late. <sighs> what? You feel me? <laughs> All right, Ja Rule, you're always on time. <laughs> Word, never. I'm on. never late because time don't exist. We made that shit up, bro. So today I was supposed to be here at one. I got here like at one fifteen, but yeah, the sun told me and my soul told me I was on time. What? Okay. So you are never on schedule, always on time. Correct. There should be no schedule. There should be no time. And work is bullshit. Fact. On to other bad news. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just run everything? We'd be much better off, bro. Finally, somebody agrees. I've been trying to tell you. I told y'all that on my album. Come on, Joe Biden. Joe I'm, Byron. I'm, 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 um, I don't hate the world. I'm just mad I ain't create the world. Message. Message. Uh, no doubt. Classic. No doubt there, Tupac. On to more good news. <laughs> this guy. It was reported there was some sharks walking on the beach. What? Walking sharks That's on the beach. Fucking. I was looking for the article right now. I couldn't find it. But. Nigga. <laughs> Yo, fam, first of all, you're not safe in the water where they have it, you know, where they where they actually live, their natural Let me habitat. See if I can find it real quick. And now that you want to chill on the sand, the motherfuckers are gonna come up to you, tap you on the shoulder, like, yo, you know, I wanna you know, it's see, dinner time, right? I wanna see the walking shark, because I, I have questions. Yeah, me too. Like how do does they it have four legs? Yeah. Or does it have like a hundred legs, like a centipede? What? Uh, I, I can't Is it like you. a dog? I'm sorry, but when you said walking sharks, all I could think of is the teenage mutant ninja turtle. Like, like one of the, uh, like a like a shark in a teenage mutant ninja turtle type fashion, you know, with big brolic arms. So, oh, so your thing is standing up. Yeah, like walk up to you with big brolic <laughs> arms and a pointy ass head and shit, talking about yo, it's dinner time, fam. No, no, no. The no, movie, no. um, the Suicide Squad, that they had like a big ass shark. I'm around. thinking more like uh, uh, Jamie a Fox dog, here. a dog walk. Like I'll put the shark on a leash. Then it'll look like one of them wiener dogs. That's okay, but he'll <laughs> fucking eat your wiener dog and hey, your wiener yep. and fucking your <laughs> leg, nigga. Hey, yo. Look, look, look. The walking <laughs> shark. It looks like it got like four legs. Oh, man. It's about fucking maybe a foot long. I thought this was like a fucking great white walking shark. It's a baby. Wait till he grows up. He's going to uh, look like Godzilla. I'm not down. shook no more. That's it. I was kind of shook right. at first. Wait till I come here with my pet walking shark and be like, I'm not get shook. Him, get him, <laughs> Sharky. <laughs> sharky. On the beach yesterday, man. That shit be crazy as fuck. You saw a shark? Shark. Did you see any? I didn't see no shark. I seen a couple of birdies, though. This, this he was the shark. Yeah. <laughs> the predator. 
Would y'all um? <laughs> would you swim with sharks? What? Hell no. Like That's... in the cage, like they be doing, like uh, pardon, controlled. Pardon. Part of my white people, man, but that's some white people shit, bro. True that, but that's why I'm asking. Would y'all do it? No. Nah. F, would you do it? No, Blood? none of us. No shark swimming? <laughs> that that you? is pussy. I don't know how to swim. And we're the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, I don't know how to swim, and we're pussy. Okay. That's right. Nigga won't even get in a bathtub. You talking about? <laughs> you ever been to an aquarium? <laughs> I've ever been to an aquarium? Mm. Yeah, I've been to Probably, but I don't super remember. I do remember there was like a little bit of an aquarium portion in the Liberty Science Center in Jersey City. Shout out to them. Oh, yeah. And it's pretty dope. But they didn't have walking sharks. No. Well, you know, if the, you know, you see one in an aquarium, them shits is scary, nigga. They big as fuck. Sharks are just scary looking to me all around. So you just gonna tell me that you're gonna put me in a cage <laughs> and lure me down and fucking have me swimming with sharks? Nah, I'm good. And I think they put like a little blood to like, you know, I make sure them. they yeah, come. Yeah, yeah, nah, fuck that. Did you see the guy? Did you see the video of the guy that the shark bit off his pinky? And yes. he was mad calm? Yeah, I did too. Yeah. Like, I just lost my fucking pinky. Yeah, fuck you. That's what happens when you swim with sharks, you fucking idiot. Why are you playing with sharks? You fucking doof. Oh, uh, man. Any other um current... Oh, uh, in gossip news, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian have called it quits. Who fucking uh, cares? The break of the year. Very surprising. <laughs> he has uh, her name tatted on him and the, yeah. the kids' names. Or the kids' initials. Because he's a fucking goofy-ass white boy, man. Come on, that's goofy-ass white boy I, shit. I, I thought they would have lasted longer than J-Lo and Ben Affleck. Yes. Negative. But, Jen uh, Affleck? Jen yes. <laughs> exactly. I fucking hate Jennifer Lopez for that. Why? <laughs> because she's Jennifer Lopez. Now she's Jen Affleck. Oh, that's whack. That is that's no, whack. No, I thought you meant uh, her fucking with no, Ben Affleck. No, no, no. no, no, no her changing, whatever you want. Yeah, her changing her name. Yeah, that yeah, was. Come like, on, my Latino um, young uh, girls need a uh, fucking hero and someone yeah, to look up to. They're nah. not going to look up to Jen Affleck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, She sounds that's like right. a. Now she sounds like a she fucking like insurance a librarian or Would have been shit. better. She would have been J Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I do agree, but yeah, but still, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm an A Rod hater. <laughs> Are you really? He too pretty, yeah. bro. I don't like pretty yeah. ass motherfuckers. Pretty niggas. Yeah, yo, but it would have been dope because it would have been the Dominican and Puerto Rican fusion. No, I agree. I agree. Oh, Absolutely. Yeah. The, 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 the nations would have finally been united in brotherhood. Exactly. Yeah. Shit. Well, fuck it. Ben yeah, Affleck. Let's go. J Lo. I still got the same number, girl. Ben gonna fuck up. You already know. Holla at your boy. You could be J Jen Burns. What? Jen Jennifer Burns. <laughs> you could be Jay Show. <laughs> that, that's what she's gonna say to you, fam. Yes, Jay Show. Ah, shout out to J Lo, oh, man. We have too much fun up here. Yes, having fun, having fun. Make sure you're following the podcast on Instagram at G A H H D underscore podcast. Make sure you're following me at money underscore burns with a Z. Make Excellent. sure you're following the brother to my left at the real underscore V S O P. That's a Twitter exclusive. Make sure you're following at deadass underscore worldwide. Make sure you're following at E for an R711. And make sure you're following at Luna Bright. Luna Luna Bright underscore waning. Pardon me. That's right. <clears throat> now Let's get into the top five down south MCs. Before we made our list, I had asked y'all if uh, if Virginia counted as down south. It does. Um, I don't know so, if I agree with that, y'all. Really? Like I counted it for the list sake. Me, but um, I think they're northern. I I I almost want to say they're east coast, but like they're not on the coast. Right? I, I mean, it. no, Virginia. Is you know what I'm on, saying? Like it's on the eastern seaboard. I feel like they're. Closer to us than, they than are to, to the yeah, south, yeah. and also, I, and yeah. I feel like we, we might influence them more than the south. Yeah, mm. I think so. That, that think that's so a too. good point. That is actually you know a good point. Yeah, because when you talk about their, you talk about their MCs and like their style. Yeah, like one of the first ones that came to mind, like Virginia rappers, was Skills. Skills, right? Man, skills you can't tell me is a down south exactly, exactly right that's skills. what I was getting at yeah man skills is more Bronx than anything else right you know what I'm saying so like right. yeah so um 
when you bring that up, yeah, that, that is a good point. But the way it's determined is anything south of the Mason-Dixon line is considered. That's what I was going to say. The but south. they're not south. Mm. They're north of the Mason-Dixon. No, they're not. They're south of the Mason-Dixon. I know the Mason. I cross the Mason-Dixon every time I go down to Virginia and I drive and I take this new way. It tells is me. the Mason-Dixon not between North and South Carolina once you cross south of the border? Negative. Oh, well, I'm incorrect then, okay. Then they are south. Next week on the Geography Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the Mason-Dixon line and who invented I thought it? Was, I thought it was south of the border once you go, you know, between north and south. I'm bugging. Yeah, nah. So, all right, we're going to consider Virginia down south for this list. Yeah. But in my soul, I don't <clears throat> consider it down south. Me and my, me and my I, daughter I, were talking I about I would that. say lyrically more so north, maybe production more so influenced by South, but even then, the production that Virginia is popularly known for, mainly Timberland and Neptunes. And mm-hmm. Pharrell. Yeah. They have their own I, lane. I wouldn't even say down South. No, I'll say yeah. fucking Mars and yeah, shit. Exactly, like, yeah, exactly, yeah. I wouldn't be- even Teddy Riley back in the day sounded even a little Teddy bit Riley, more yeah. North, you know? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Well, that, and, and futuristic. See, and that's the thing, too, about Virginia, man. Like, they all created their own sounds. Like, because the Neptunes have their very own distinct sound. Right. You can't mm-hmm. mistake it with anything else. Timberland, of course, has his own lane and his own sound that you that first of all a lot of people bit, mm-hmm. but he created himself. Yeah. And then before yeah. all of them was Teddy Riley with New Jack Swing. He created a whole new subgenre. And they're all interconnected because yes. Pharrell came up under Teddy Riley, right, and right. Pharrell and Timberland are cousins. Right, 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 right. So shout out to that. Shout out to Virginia. Oh, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. So my second top home. five down south MCs. Um, I got a couple honorable mentions. We'll get to those a little later. Yeah, me too. And then I got for uh, for the artists. I got like a couple examples of shit that I like in case anybody wants to go check it out. Cool. So who wants to go first? And I'm gonna I'm gonna um, we're gonna yeah I'm gonna write all this shit down and I'll post it on the internets and y'all go check it out after. Um, I'll start first because I got a kind of a controversial starter here. So this would be your number five. This would be my number five uh, down south rapper. Again, this is also another rapper. He's from the south, but he sounds very much like he could be or where or he could have came from up here, like somewhere up here. Correct. My number five pick is Jay Electronica. Jay Electronica. You know what? Um, I forgot mad people. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're going to mention some names here, yeah. and uh, that'll help refresh my memory. So, Jay Electronica. Um, I fucking hate Jay Electronica. I knew you were going to say that. And that's <laughs> but I'll, the- I'll, I'll, I'll speak on that later. First, right. you tell me why you don't hate Jay. Um, The reason why he's on my list. Uh, first of all, he is, in my opinion, one of the most lyrically aggressive dudes I've ever heard. Like His, his work is... Uh, lyric intensive You know what I'm saying Like it has a, it, It's filled with lyricism It's filled with A lot of uh, information That you gotta decipher I mean, After listening to it Five or six times and shit So I'm into that Like that's my type of shit The one knock on him Obviously is He does not have A classic album He does not have an album He has an album He does But it's also with Jay-Z So, <laughs> so I don't know if Jay-Z. That. That's a Jay-Z album Yeah Featuring it's Jay Z album Featuring Jay Electronic I yeah. knew you guys Were gonna say that yeah. Alright so, so you don't have an album the reason I hate Jay Electronica is because uh, he never lived up to the hype. He, yeah, and that tease was so fire that uh, Exhibit C shit. Like I remember when that shit blew up, mm-hmm. uh, and I remember watching it bubble online, mm-hmm. and then it bubbled into the streets, and then it hit even high ninety seven. Yeah, and uh, that shit was just fire, bro. Like that shit to this day is fucking dope as fuck, and he just never followed it up with nothing. Yeah, and it just always like left a bitter taste in my mouth I've, regarding him. So even with his album dropping, and I feel like it dropped twelve six, years later. <laughs> yeah, ten, sixteen. It was, it was uh, eleven years after his debut. Nigga, nobody cares. Nobody cares. That and the fact that it then had to feature Jay Z on eight out of twelve tracks yeah. or something or more, probably like that was calculated though because he, gotta, even with that, nobody cared. Right. Even with that, yeah. like you needed this extra help, and even with that help, nobody gave a fuck. Well, that that was the other thing. The extra help, although it was JC Jay Z, it was also like you just said, eleven years too late. Because at that point, the Jay Z cosign, yes, it is a Jay Z cosign, but at the same time, it doesn't. It's not the same thing anymore. Yeah, it's the the generation you know has passed. Exactly, not, a lot of we people, care, but yeah, exactly the a majority lot. of people have moved on. Yeah. However, it props hurt, to Jay. 
Uh, go ahead, it Brad. Hurts. I'm sorry. It hurts because um, he had so much promise, just like you said. And, like, uh, VS is right. He very aggressive. He sounds almost like a Brooklyn rapper himself. So it was like, damn, a, so a down south rapper, not only from the south, but from New Orleans, mm -hmm. right. to fucking come and, and, and be like the next quote unquote messiah of rap. Right. And then just, you know, just go silent. It was like, bro, like, that's why he's not on my list. Cause it's like, as nice as you are, you get no props cause you never did nothing with it. You exactly. know what I'm saying? Exactly. However, he does <clears throat> get props. For uh, banging that rough child. Shit. Yeah, I was just, that was going to be my next point. That's probably the main reason why he is no longer doing music. Because now yeah, he's I married. and didn't rap he, either. He's married and now isn't he expecting a child with this lady? He should be. Yeah, I would have knocked her up right away. Yeah, I would have thought it that up. Yep. So, uh, but yes, um, Jay Electronic. What do you guys about? think about that being a ploy by the government to get him to be silenced because he spits a lot of uh you know double entendres and shit in his raps that have to do, that are kind of revolutionary so True. a rothschild he marries a rothschild what the fuck yeah, yeah I, I don't i don't believe in the, i don't believe that at all what do you mean the like government it, don't control the rothschilds it's, it's the other way around right exactly. and he was his voice wasn't powerful enough to be silenced exactly at his peak he was an underground mc yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No but you never know. I don't yeah. know. You you know, conspiracy theories are fun. For sure. But uh Facts. yeah, Jay Electronica, man, my number five, man. The guy was full of promise and his work, like even his mixtape work is amazing. It's better than a lot of people's albums. Yeah. You know but what I'm saying? But nobody's heard it. <laughs> The fact, I mean, he, it's it's out and you can find it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if you the want fact that, to, yeah. But the fact, like you said, the fact that it's all mixtapes and shit yeah. like that, it, it's it's it sucks. But he just missed his window and it sucked because it's like cannabis, right? He was basically you the know second what I'm cannabis. Saying? Yeah, right. it's like cannabis, and, right. and you know, maybe down the line, well, no, because cannabis gave us more work before the album, like you could live off cannabis before the album freestyles. There's at least ten or twenty. Yeah, so he has the same amount though, if not more. Yeah, but again, nobody knows them. All we know is the yeah. C. And nah, then so at least cannabis of, has an album. Nah, you know he's got a saying? lot of dope freestyles. And no, what I mean with cannabis is like you can even forgive the album because he gave us a bunch of dope freestyles. Yeah. J Electronica, speaking for myself, right. I don't know of anything other than Exhibit C. And I never nah, went to he, go look for anything else. That was the thing too. A lot of his mixtape shit too had Awesome producers. Like he had Jay Dilla working with him. He had Q Tip working with him. He had obviously just Blaze working with him. You think he could be too nice? That might be the case with him. He's probably just too nice. And on, on top of that, he's too nice for this era. Right. Because he's out of place in this era. He doesn't fit he here. Because he he he's he incorporates the religious raps too. Yeah, the five percent. Right. And yeah. Uh, yeah, he probably would have succeeded better in a in the nineties era. Yeah, like early ni early to mid nineties, he would have probably been the god. He might have been J E. Facts. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Blood, you want to go next? Yeah, I'll go next. Um, my number five down south rapper is gonna be none other than the god himself of Texas. Oh. The homie Scarface. Oh shit, he was oh, on my list. Damn, you got him low. Yeah, he was. I got him. Yeah, I got him. Go ahead, bro. Uh, uh, blood. <clears throat> I, I was gonna say I got him low on my list because most of his most of his stuff is in group form. You know what I'm saying? He he is a a, a, a dolo rapper. You know what I'm saying? But most of the stuff that I remember Scarface from back in the day was. Uh, from the Ghetto Boys, he's got a but, few uh, albums. Uh, he does few have a few albums. albums. Yeah, yeah. But by then, you know, I I wasn't really checking too much for Scarface. But you know, he does have a lot of classic stuff, classic singles, classic guest appearances. Like his shit on the Jay Z, um, on on the album was crazy. Um, the Dynasty, his uh, features with Tupac are crazy. Like this man is classic. But you know, the other rappers that I have on my list kind of have more work that I that I probably you're familiar with 
Yeah, I, I feel like with and it's with. I feel like the other rappers on your list would have Scarface higher on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. No, yeah, they actually would. They actually would. Scarface is definitely on my list. I'm gonna talk more about him when we get to him, but mm -hmm. I find it. Uh, uh, first of all, <clears throat> shout out to Scarface. Oh, Much yeah. love and respect to Scarface. Um, he almost he almost transitioned like a few months ago, maybe a year ago after he had caught COVID. I think his kidney failed him or something, and I believe his yeah. son he's diabetic um, donated his kidney to him. Yeah, he's diabetic or something like that. You know, yeah. don't uh, yeah. don't get your medical information from me. Hmm. But shout out to him for surviving that, for still being around. You mm -hmm. know, shout out to him for laying down. Um, like like the gauntlet for Texas at a time when Texas wasn't you know a, a hub for hip hop. Um, to speak on what Blood said, uh, to speak on what Blood said about the group stuff, uh, definitely I want to talk about that. But before we get to that, to speak on what Blood said about the Jay Z feature, um, in Jay's Jay's book, in Jay Z's book Decoded, mm -hmm. he talks about that studio session and that it was an actual event. Yeah, yeah. So Scarface yeah. was in the studio and his wife called him and told him like, "Yo, homeboy." Um, just lost his kids, his house burned down, you know, mm -hmm. a friend of the family, a homie and shit. And uh, he went in the verse and spit about that shit and laid down one of the fucking most classic verses and like heartfelt, like, Bananas. yeah, you know, not to compare him to Jay on that track, but nobody's fucking with him on that track with that verse that yeah. he spit. Like, that shit was so, um, I don't even know the word, yo, like, so emotionally driven, so, and so relatable, yeah. like, so fucking. That should touch you. If you heard it, it touched you. So yeah. shout out to that. Not only that, like it's a, it's a the the fact that you <clears throat> also know that it's a real event. That so nobody, I, we didn't know that. Obviously, yeah. hearing it. Uh, yeah, obviously. Back so in 2000, you know, we yeah, didn't know you that. hear it and you're like, wow. And then later, when the book comes out, you read it and you're like, holy shit, yeah. this motherfucker. Like, I don't even know if I could lay a verse. I don't even know if I could record. Well, I don't know. Depending on the bad it, it news, sounded, like it's supposed I, to, you know. Yeah. I, I, I get what he's saying. It sounded like he was stewing on that for weeks, but knowing that he just found out about it at right. the session, you're like, damn, that's even crazier. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell that, yeah. And also his verse, that makes me think, like, this song is dope. Also the verse that he spit on Moment of Truth, the album, uh, for the song with Guru, uh, Betrayal. Uh-huh. That's another oh, fucking shit. dope ass That song. shit is crazy. You know what I'm saying? That To me, those are the, like, uh, Scarface is number three on my list. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No but doubt. Uh, he, um, to me, those examples show you, like, where he was at. And to me, he was ahead of the curb. Cause he was, uh, oh, like, yeah. You, you got to remember, uh, the, uh, the Ghetto Boys, uh, We Can't Be Stopped, came out in what, 90? He'd been rapping yeah. from like since '85. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Um, so he had been doing it for a minute. Damn, I wish I remember the name of it, but I have Scarface's book. Okay. And uh, it speaks about that how he'd been rapping for a minute. He'd yeah. been in a, in a few different groups. Right. Right. And it was uh, Jay Prince who actually put him and Willie D together and mm -hmm. said y'all finna be a group. And then along the way they picked up Bushwick. crazy ass Bushwick Bill. Right. Shout out to that. Oh, Shout yeah. out to the um, Bushwick Bill trying to kill himself, shooting himself in the eye. And then ending up in the hospital, and they fucking took a picture. Yep. <laughs> and of they made that shit the album yep. cover. Yep. That was the that album cover. Bananas. And that is crazy to this day. You know, that um, was obviously they did it on purpose, but they did it because of the name of the album. We can't be stopped. Like a gunshot to the face can't stop us. Right, right. Where's and up? in the book, he talks about it how they like, uh, obviously, the hospital wasn't trying to let him do that shit. And they snuck, you know, they rolled him out of the room and they ripped the cover off and they mm -hmm. shot the pictures and then they got in trouble and got kicked out and they <laughs> yeah. had to put him back in the room and bandage him up again. But, mm. you know, it's also, little, little shit like that, little like little creative. Like yeah, like you got to take advantage yeah. of the moment, bro. Like, mm -hmm. fuck, let's do it. You and know? some people would have been like, nah, you can't do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then imagine also, the shock value of the album cover. Go ahead, blood. I was going to say, uh, shout out to Scarface also. Another big reason why he's on my list is because he constantly was reinventing himself. Even to this day, being on the podcast with Willie D, you know what I'm saying? That shit is big. But um, when he did the fix, like, that shit was like 2000, right? Or like... 202, right. 2002. Right. 2002. And like, by then, you would have thought a rapper like of his stature even would have retired. You know what I'm saying? 10, 15 years in the game and you know you don't hear you don't really hear nothing from him he comes and re reinvents himself on the fix and it's like holy shit like this guy is, is classic and yeah. if, and if you listen to the fix and you listen to the album before that 
you could tell like it's amazing how much better the fix was because the f album before that uh what the hell was the name of it um that album was actually pretty good but the fix was just unbelievable it was it was actual like it was a classic he has a classic album i believe the fix got yeah. five mics did it i want to say it did and that was his uh first album on def jam the fix that's why you can hear the uh difference in quality that's the thing too yeah. and what was the album before last, of, uh, the last of a dying breed that's actually a super dope album that is a dope album um so if we're going to talk about scarface right let's go back to uh what blood said uh, that blood regards him more as a group artist mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's weird to me to me mm -hmm. because uh, yeah. uh, from the group i only remember mine's playing tricks on you I don't remember any other songs uh, uh, being in rotation and shit. Right, that was that's definitely their most. I know song. Scarface as a solo artist. Me too, more so as a solo. Um, artist. I remember his video for uh, when I discovered him was the video for "Never Seen a Man Cry Until I Seen a Man Die." Right, <laughs> and, and as a child, yo, that video was like a little scary. Like was, that show was a little horror and shit. Like it was very, horror. it was yeah. very, it was very ominous, very haunting. Yeah, yeah. And you think like, damn, Scarface is like the candy. Man and shit like this. That was always his style, though. <laughs> that was always his style. Right, right. So um he was talking a lot about suicide and death and, and you know stuff like that on his albums. And that that uh, like Blood said, that was his style. But that's what drew like a lot of people, myself included, like that theme and that that ominous character and the music and the way it it, it all came together as a package. Mm -hmm. And then. uh and then I remember a few years later, uh, in the army, mm -hmm. he had dropped a double album called My Homies, mm -hmm. and it featured, uh, you know, a bunch of his homies, obviously. <clears throat> and it wasn't that good for a double album, but it had yeah. uh, it had the song My Homies with Master P and Tupac, which they would play in the clubs, which was crazy to me. Like, <laughs> that shit was crazy. And then it had another song. It might have been Smile with Tupac. With Tupac. And, uh, that, song and that song crazy. is just classic. And I remember the video to that after Tupac died and he's on the cross he's on and the cross, shit. Right, yeah. And uh, it looked like Tupac. I remember that. Yeah. It was and, like his twin. Yo, for real. And then he drops Last of a Dying Breed. And on Last of a Dying Breed, I really love uh, like the first two or uh, four songs, maybe. He's got a song called Look Into My Eyes is mm -hmm. number one or number two. That's super fire. And then he's got a, 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 the it's song right after it. Or, or what's the first song? The first song is Last of a Dying Breed. What's the second song? Look, Look Into, into my, eyes. my Eyes. What's the third song? It Ain't It. No, um, It it Ain't, part two. It Ain't. Okay, what's the fourth song? Uh, They Down With Us. All right, so that little run right there. One, two, three, four. Yeah, with UGK. Yo, fire. And in one or two, he talks about uh, like a specific DEA agent by yeah, name yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, fucking yeah. with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, I fuck with that whole album. But yeah. like right off the bat, I remember hearing that shit. I remember buying the bootleg on Canal Street. Shout out to Canal Street. That oh, yeah. I think that was uh, OG. Damn, Canal Street. Um, yo, I remember hearing that shit, like pressing play, and I was like, wow. Like, I'm fucking with this album. Then he dropped the fix on Def Jam. I remember that when he got signed to Def Jam, and it was like, holy shit, Scarface yeah. on Def Jam. It was a big yeah. deal. Yep. And then he drops the fix with just Blaze, mm -hmm. Kanye, yep. Jigga, Jigga, Beanie. Yep. Everybody, yep. Yo, I, I'm pretty sure it got five mics. Um, Gotta look that up. And it was just fire, bro. And it had like four singles. I'm sure it went yeah. platinum. No, and, and it was just an amazing track. And then I mean, the, amazing what's album. the album after that one? Because that was another good album still on Def Jam. Uh, The Product. Was it The Diary? The Product. The product. Oh, no, The, the product. Diary was one of the first ones. And yeah. then a few years after all that shit, he dropped the album called uh, Emeritus. Yo, slept on classic joint, like a strong four or five mic album. Um, so to me, Scarface been around to me with me like since fucking 1988 or some shit. Yeah. Um, so, so on, on, on my list, he's number two. I was gonna oh, put him. Wow. Uh, he was my number one until I asked the Virginia question. So y'all obviously know my yeah. number one was yeah. gonna be. Yeah, but Magoo. um, Magoo, Magoo, duh. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was gonna put him one, two, three, four, and five, but yeah. the show would have got boring. But no, um, Scarface, Can't get bro. Boring with Magoo. Scar yeah, that's the best rapper, definitely. Um, <laughs> oh my god! Wait till I play. I got a list of Magoo's 
20 best verses. <laughs> nah. Nah, but um, Scarface is my number two. And, uh, yo, I just think he's up there, bro. Like, Yeah, for sure. I remember when uh, T.I. came out. And I don't know if, if, if he's on any of y'all lists. Y'all don't got to tell me. But he uh, not. he called himself the Jay Z of the South, right? And he called himself the King of the, the South. South, right? And really, nobody debated him. And I remember there was even a skit on one of his albums where he spoke to Scarface about it. And mm-hmm. Scarface was like, "Man, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm Scarface, nigga. Like, I don't care." Yeah. And uh, to me, Scarface was always the king, the uncrowned King of the South, yeah. and uh, yeah. humble dude too, man. Super humble. You know, we don't hear. Too much about his business acumen. I know he's got a few businesses down there in Texas, but mm-hmm. I would this I would say he's more the Jay Z of the South than uh than even T I. Oh yeah. Um as far as like like you know how Jay's the big homie? Mm-hmm. Uh like Scarface is the big homie. Absolutely. Yo. Like, 100%. He's up there Everybody with like with like back. uh yes. like Bumby, like Uncle Bun. Mm-hmm. Every t- uh, Bumby, what Snoop is to the West. Bumby is to the south. Bun is to the south. But Scarface is right there with him. Like, Bun is uncle, and Scarface is just everybody's big homie. Everybody That's right. Yeah. As it should be. As it should be. Shout out to Scarface. It, it, it gets even to the point that the name Scarface, when you think about it in hip-hop, you don't equate it to the movie, to right. Tony Montana. You right. just think, you know, it. whatever he chose, why he chose to use that name is just totally different than what it has to do with Tony Montana, you feel me? So yeah. he even took upon that moniker and ran with it. And it's like, dude, you can't, you know, you should hear Scarface and rapping. And, you know, you just think about Ghetto Boys, The Fix, all that shit, like all his work. And um, that that's my dude, yo. And he's another, um, good, yeah. my bad, bro. Go ahead, finish your thought. I got him low on the list just because I said, because there's so many other rappers from the South that influenced me as well. Um just I, I'm I may have shot too low for Scarface now that I think about it. <laughs> All good. Uh two things before we leave Scarface. Uh number one, that voice. That's the other thing I was gonna say. His presence <laughs> like, on the wow. mic. Pause. His presence on mic is incredible. He you know who he reminds me of? Biggie. hmm He's Biggie. Oh, He's wow. Biggie, but the Southern version. The Southern like, Biggie. Southern yeah. Biggie. Like the way he gets on the mic and how he commands the track. That baritone. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. And then number two, uh, well, another thing. Um, speaking of the voice, the voice and the Biggie, mm. uh, he was supposed to do a collab album with Beanie Siegel, right? Called uh, Mac and Sieg or some shit like that. Some some shit like that. But yo, they never did it, and I just oh, I just want to say I wish they had done that shit. Like I really yeah. look forward to that. Yeah. But another point, um, Scarface is the least sounding. The least southern sounding of the Ghetto Boys. True. Yeah, you know absolutely. what I'm saying? Like nah, because he... yeah, Bushwick Bill didn't sound too much like from the Yeah, South. but Bushwick Bill didn't rap that much. Yeah. So, you know, Willie D had yeah, that super Yeah, Willie D thick. had... Exactly. <laughs> so, Houston accent. To go back to, like, with, with uh, Jay Electronica, like, uh, Scarface... Like, he doesn't sound... Like a super down south to see. He doesn't sound yeah. super southern. His mm-hmm. flow, and I love that his flow is real talky. Yeah. Again, like a jigger. Like he just talks to you like like with con- that yeah. voice. Yeah. Like, and you're like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I never seen a man cry till I seen a man die. Yeah, you're like, man. oh shit, that nigga died. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you all in your feels. Yo, for real, man. So shout out to Scarface, for man. Sure. Classic album. If there's any people on uh, listening that haven't really given Scarface and his catalog, it's just due and his props. Go back and listen. Uh, speaking of the movie Scarface, he had that one album. It might have been his first solo album or his second. That the cover looks like uh, the Scarface half black, half white. Yeah, and he's yeah. he's yeah. there in the suit. Just just iconic like uh, images when it comes to Scarface. Yeah, this one, uh, Mr. Scarface. Yeah. And then this motherfucker played Mad Instruments and recorded, uh, produced Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Mary Jane. One of his biggest songs, Mary Jane. Mary, Mary, Mary. Oh, yeah, Mary, yeah, 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 yeah. He produced that shit himself. Oh, dope. That's on him. Yeah, there you go. So, like, he's multi talented. Yeah. Like, shout out to Brad Jordan, bro. Oh, yeah. Big, big right. shout outs. Big shout outs. Scarface, legendary MC. Number two on my list, number three on VSOP's list, right. and number five on Blood. <laughs> 
I stood alone in my four corner room staring <laughs> Yo, at Even Kelly. that song, listen to that song. That song came out in 90, right? I'm pretty sure it was written in 89 or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's one of the first artists that I've ever heard talking about mental illness. Not mental illness, but like your mental wellness. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He was a very advocating that since early. The whole uh, track is about depression. mental wellness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah bro. Might play drinks on me, dog. Hell yeah. <laughs> Shout out to that, man. And damn, like... That shit still fucking sounds dope, bro. Oh, what? And, that, yeah. and I still remember the video like Hell it was yeah. a movie. Man. Hell yeah. It aged very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Shout super that. classic. That's why it's a hip hop classic, though. Yeah. It stands the test of time. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Shout, Shout out to Scarface. Oh, Shout out to yeah. Texas. He Shout was out to on, uh, Boys. He was on what? Rap a lot, right? Yes. Shout out to Jay Prince. Shout out to Jay Prince, yeah. Absolutely. He says it on one of his albums. Uh, uh, he says it on The Fix. No, not on The Fix, on Last of a Dying Breed. Rap a lot for life. Shout out to that, man.